Uh, continue. Oh crap, I saved way earlier than I expected. It's a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. Nice time with you. This is it. Oh shit, I didn't actually sleep the first time I did this, so I never got this. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie! It's really dusty. Box of kids' shoes in a disparity of sizes. Toriel's Diary. Yes! Oh, right, it's the corny joke. Toriel, small chair. Its name is Cheriel. <laughs> oh my god. This room right here is the reason why I'll probably come back to this area at a later point in the game. Up already, I see. Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. Yeah, this is all the same dialogue. I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Yeah, considering the beginning of the game. Still, <laughs> that face she makes. I'm glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? What is it? Eh, can I go home? What? This, this is your home now. Um, would you like to hear about this book I'm reading? How about an exciting snail fact? Did you know that snails make terrible shoelaces? Interesting. Yeah. Well, bother me. Okay. I have to do something. Stay here. There is some white fur stuck in the drain. The size of the pie intimidates you too much for you to eat it. score. Toria blocks away. Whoops. No, I, I wanted to see, because she actually has so much health that it might be easier to find a way to, like, talk her out of it. I couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh shit, I wasn't paying attention. Toriel's acting aloof. How did she react? Oh, nothing.
Oreo looks through you. You tried to think of something to say again, but... Alright. Toriel takes a deep breath. Uh, this time, she had two lines of ellipses. Toriel prepares a magical attack. Three lines of ellipses. Okay, so that actually was doing something different. <laughs> Holy fuck. <laughs> Toria looks through you. Oh, okay, so that is working. Fuck! Fuck me. Toria looks through you. Uh, let me use an item. Monster candy, what does that do? I guess I use a spider donut. HP was maxed out. What are you doing? Okay, so I guess I just do this until she she cracks. Attack her, run away! Actually, okay, actually I'm going to keep doing it and see if she keeps reacting that way, because if she keeps repeating that, then it's then I guess I have to fight her. What are you proofing this way? Woo! Fuck me, that was a, a hard one. Fight me or leave. Oh, it's working! Stop looking at me that way. Yep, it's definitely working now. Go away. No! I'm gonna keep bothering you. Until I win and prove myself. Ellipses again. Oh shit, it's the hard one. Fuck! I'm gonna need a. Uh... Bye! Boy! Spare. Two ellipses again. Yeah, her the expression on her avatar is changing too. The expression on her sprite is also changing. Oh! I know you want to go home, but... Talk. Ironically, talk... What? Talking does not seem to be the solution? But please, go upstairs now. Okay, I'm having a moment. I promise I will take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but we can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Notice they, took, they actually took away the option to flee, so I couldn't even if I wanted to. Aw, sad face. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot save even a single child. Awkward signs. No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. Why not? My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Aww. Goodbye, my child.
Should I be a dick and go back? I don't think it'll let me. Oh, maybe it will. Oh, I guess I could also use this as a chance to heal. Fucker, please. Wake up. You are the future of humans and monsters. What in the hell? <laughs> I, I, can't, I did not expect that to happen. Full health though, right? Yep. Although there is one question, and that is, if Toriel's so worried about me, why doesn't she just come with me until I, you know, leave? Like, all the way. Unless she's also too weak to actually survive out there. That's what she's implying. Actually, hang on, let me... Save. Now that I think about it, I probably could have done that with no damage, but whatever, I can always just buy more, I guess. Oh, you again, you little shit. Clever. Very clever. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's kill or be killed. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single... Was I supposed to kill Toriel in that? I, don't, I thought prove it was prove myself, not kill her. You spared the life of a single person. Hee hee hee. Frog it. Wimpsome vegetable lox. Megos. Mold small? Think about those names. Do you think any of those monsters have families? Do you think any of them have friends? Each one could have been someone else's Toriel. Oh look! It, he is mimicking Toriel's face. Selfish brat. Somebody is dead because of you. Who? I think I killed one froggit and... I, and all the vegetables I've eaten? I guess. Whatever. Undertale. By Toby Fox. Nothing. Yep, can't go back. <gasps> There's a camera hidden in the bushes. Who's peeking? Whatever. Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Turn around and shake my hand. <laughs> what the fuck? Heh <laughs> heh, the whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny 
Wow, his, his dialogue is... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, you're a human, right? That's hilarious. I'm Sans. Sans the Skeleton. Wait, is it is the joke that his name is Sans because it's written in Comic Sans? I capitalized that I. I'm actually supposed to be on Watch for Humans right now. But, you know, I don't really care about capturing anybody. Now my brother, Papyrus, he's a human hunting fanatic. Hey, actually, I think that's him over there. I have an idea. Go through this gate thingy. Yeah, go right through. My bro made the bars too wide to stop anyone. Quick, behind that conveniently shaped lamp. Wow. Sup, bro? You know what, sup, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. Just hang around outside your station. What are you even doing? Staring at this lamp. It's really cool. Do you want to look? No! I don't have time for that. Look at him stamping his butt. What if a human comes through here? I want to be ready. I will be the one. I must be the one. I will capture a human. Then, I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Look at that. Look at that smug grin he's got there. And look at that flowing cape. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. <laughs> Maybe this lamp will help you. Sans, you are not helping, you lazy bones. All you do is sit and boondoggle. You get lazier and lazier every day. Hey, take it easy. I've gotten a ton of work done today. A skeleton. Oh, that hurts. Sans. Come on, you're smiling. I am, and I hate it. <laughs> Ugh. Why does someone as great as me have to do so much just to get some recognition? Wow, sounds like you're really working yourself. Down to the bone. God damn. Ugh! I will attend to my puzzles. As for your work, put a little more backbone into it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, I can't even do that. I'm shitty at doing that kind of laugh. Hey. <laughs> okay, you can come out now. Oh, yeah, move. Durr. You ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. I would like that, actually. What's the holdup? Look, there's nothing to be afraid of. It's just a dark cavern filled with skeletons and horrible monsters. Well, you ought to get going. He might come back. And if he does, you'll have to sit through more of my hilarious jokes. Yeah, I want that. Okay, this is where his dialogue loops. It's some sort of checkpoint or sentry station, but there are bottles of ketchup, mustard, and relish sitting inside. Actually, hey, I hate to bother you, but can you do me a favor? I was thinking, my brother's been kind of down lately. He's never seen a human before, and see you might just make his day. Don't worry, he's not dangerous, even if he tries to be. Thanks a million, I'll be up ahead. Uh, what's with the mu- Oh, it's not sad music, it's just winter music. The convenience of that lamp still fills you with determination. Save! This is a box. You can put an item inside or take an item out. The same box will appear later, so don't worry about coming back. Sincerely, a box lover. Use the box? Uh, no, I only have, like, what? Two items? Yeah, that's nothing. Fuck! Whoops! 
Oh my god, and it's not on the ground anymore. I threw away my knife. <laughs> no, that was stupid. Snowdrake flutters forth. Alright, act, Snowdrake. <laughs> Choke. You make a bad ice pun. Ha ha ha, nice try. Snowdrake is smiling at his own bad joke. Uh, laugh. You laugh at Snowdrake before it says anything funny. What are you laughing at? Oh, fucking, okay, stay away from the edges. Snowdrake is practicing its next pun. Uh, joke. God, another one from the bottom. Snowdrake is practicing his exile. Uh, let's ha heckle. You tell the Snowdrake that no one will ever love them the way they are. They struggle to make a tour and slink away, utterly crushed. He won. Oh, I heard his feelings. What was this? This is a box. Oh, right, 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 the box shit. What is this way? A uh, fishing rod. It's a fishing rod affixed to the ground. Reel it in? Yeah. All that's attached to the end is a photo of a weird looking monster. Call me, here's my number. You decide not to call. You send the line back out. What if it pulls up something different? Alright, Toriel gave me a cell phone, so I actually can call her. So, as I was saying about Undi... Oh shit! <laughs> Sans! Oh my god, is that... a human? Well, even though you're skeletons, you're still technically humans. Uh, actually, I think that's a rock. Oh. Hey, what's that in front of the rock? Oh my god! Is, is that a human? Yes. Oh my god. Sans, I finally did it. Undine will. I'm gonna... I'll be so... Popular. Popular, popular. Ahem. You win. You shall not pass this area. I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you. I will then capture you. You will be delivered to the capital. Then? Then? I'm not sure what's next. In any case, continue only if you dare. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, I can't do that. Well, that went well. Don't sweat it, kid. I'll keep an eye socket out for you. Dean, that name sounds really familiar, actually. Ice cap struck since of you. <laughs> Compliment him. You inform Ice Cap that it has a great hat. Envious? Too bad. Oh god. It's snowing dandruff. Uh steel. Steel what? You tried to steal Ice Cap's hat, but it's not weakened enough. I knew it, thief! Ice Cap is thinking about a certain article of clothing. Uh, you know what? Let's try. Spare. Where's your hat? Well, I died. Oh shit, when was the last time I saved? You don't give up just yet. Fucker! Stay determined. I think it was in the... Yeah, right here. Ice cap threats into view. Alright. Ignore him. You managed to tear your eyes away from Ice Cap's hat. It looks annoyed. 
Hello, my hat's up here. Fuck. Ice Cap is secretly checking if you're looking at its hat. Ignore. Continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Oh, better a hatter than a hater. Ice Cap is desperate for your attention. Okay, that's a pretty much that's a clear sign he I can spare him. Wait, what the? There's some narration on this cardboard box. You observe the well-crafted sentry station. Who could have built this? You ponder. I bet it was that very famous royal guardsman. Nope, not yet. A very famous royal guardsman. There's some narration. Oh. I thought he was hiding behind it. Because it, it makes the same noise that his text up boxes do. Managed to tear your eyes away. What were you doing? That's actually kind of harder with uh, an analog stick, so I think I'm going to be using a D-pad from now on. Continue not looking at Ice Cap's hat. It seems defeated. Yeah. You can find little. Each enemy is finding out what tricks um defeat them without even having to bothering to hit them. Which in many ways is actually easier than doing it the other way. Especially since I threw away my goddamn knife. Absolutely no moving. I'm moving. What are you gonna do about it? Oh shit. Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can only see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human, I'll make sure it never moves again. Oh, okay. Doggo blocks the way. Oh, throw a bone. Let's play fetch. Oh, pet him. Okay. Doggo is too suspicious of your movements. Don't move an inch. Okay, I'll take that literally. Ha! Heck yeah! Doggo can't seem to find anything. How about I spare you? Will it move this time? <laughs> I, I don't know what I, I don't know why I'm getting such a kick out of like figuring out the trick to him just from his dialogue. I, 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 let's see. I guess if I just do nothing long enough, he'll actually just go away. I guess I just keep doing mercy. Uh, it doesn't seem to be working though. He's repeating the same dialogue, and unlike Toriel, it's not actually changing much. Six attack, one defense. Easily excited by movement. Hobbies include squirrels. Pet doggo. What does that say? Now? What? I've been pet! Pet, pit, pot, pet, pit, pot, pet. <laughs> doggo has been pet. Oh, I can spare you now. I actually kinda, yeah. S -s something pet me. S something that isn't moving. I'm gonna need some dog treats for this. Hello? Is anybody there? No? <laughs> I rang the bell. Oh! Dog treats! Someone's been sm smoking dog treats! <laughs> oh, that, that's, that's pretty funny. Are you, 
Are you two playing a trick on me? Real funny. I wonder if he said something else. Big guy, is that you? Come on. Well, it's not the tall skeleton. He's too loud. <laughs> Whoever you are, knock it off. Okay, I guess he just says nothing from then on. Yo, what's up, dude? Hey, here's something important to remember. My brother has a very special attack. If you see a blue attack, don't move and it won't hurt you. Here's an easy way to keep it in mind. Imagine a stop sign. When you see a stop sign, you stop, right? Stop signs are red, so imagine a blue stop sign instead. Simple, right? When fighting, think about blue stop signs. Thank you very much. Uh, too bad it was after the fact that I already did that fight where I figured that shit out. Huh, that, that is some Pokemon ice physics right there. North, ice, south, ice, west, ice, east, Snowden Town. And ice. <laughs> Love that. It's a snowman! Hello, I am a snowman. Hello, Frosty. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you would be so kind, traveler, please. Take a piece of me and bring it very far away. Okay, sure, why not? Thank you. Good luck. You got the snowman piece. How am I doing? By I, I mean the piece of me I gave you. I guess I'll come back and remember to come back to that guy and tell him about that. You're so lazy. You were napping all night. I think that's called sleeping. Excuses, excuses. Oh ho, the human arrives. In order to stop you, my brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. For you see, this is the invisible electricity maze. When you touch the walls of this maze, this orb will administer a heavy, a heavy, a hearty zap. Sound like fun? Because the amount of fun you will probably have is actually rather small, I think. Okay, you can go ahead now. What, do I just walk straight? <laughs> Sans! What did you do? I think the human has to hold the orb. Oh, okay. Hold this, please. Okay, try now. Incredible, you slippery snail. You solved it so easily. Too easily. However, the next puzzle will not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. You will surely be confounded. I know I am. Yeah, I'm not doing it. Hey, thanks. My brother seems like he's having fun. By the way, did you see that weird outfit he's wearing? We made that a few weeks ago for a costume party. He hasn't worn anything else since. Keep calling it his battle body. Man. Isn't my brother cool? Hey dude. I don't understand why these aren't selling. It's the perfect weather for something cold. Oh! A customer! Hello, would you like some nice cream? It's the frozen treat that warms your heart. Now, just 15 G. Uh, sure, why not? Here you go. Have a super duper day. You got the nice cream. Rock. Tree. Snowball. What the? Okay. Hey, there you are. I've been thinking about selling treats, too. 
Want some fried snow? It's just 5G. Sure. Did I say 5G? I meant 50G. Fine. Really? No! I have to pay for the raw material somehow. What's a, it's just 5G? No. You're right. I should charge way more than that. What? You don't have the money? Hey, that's okay. I don't have any snow. <laughs> it did like a, a reverse of what usually happens in Zelda where you can haggle someone of their money until they sell it for like barely anything at all. Actually, that wasn't um, Zelda. That was Paper Mario. Super Paper Mario, yeah. In the space level. Shit, okay, now I, I see what I gotta do with the snowball. Get in there. Yay! Purple, even when you felt trapped, you took notes and achieved the end of the ball. You are awarded two gold. This flag has nothing else to offer. I have snow. His. Hers. Spell danger rating. Oh crap. Get that off. Snow smell. Snowman. White rating can become yellow rating. Unsuspicious smell. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Weird smell. Humans. Green rating. Destroy at all costs. It breeds, it, green is actually green and red. I think this might be important. Smell danger rating. Snow. White. Can become yellow. Puppy. Blue rating. Smell of rolling around. Humans. Green rating, which is actually red. Destroy at all costs. Okay, sure thing. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Monster Kids Word Search. <laughs> hey kids, can you help me solve this puzzle? I see. Okay, what do I do with it? Do I have to like, get my mouse up? Monster kids, word search, yay. Skeletons right there. How do I do this? Uh, okay. I mean, and then there's fall right there. Whatever. Sans, that didn't do anything. Oh. Whoops. I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumbo is easily the hardest. 
What? Really, dude? That easy peasy word scramble? That's for baby bones. Unbelievable. Human, solve this dispute. Which is harder? Jumbo or Grosswork? Who's Ego? Do I want to inflate his Ego? Nah. What can I do? Because he wants a friend, right? Ha! Ha! Yes! Humans must be very intelligent. Yeah, see, I thought that was a good idea. And they also find Junior Jumbo so difficult. Thanks for seeing Junior Jumbo just to appease my brother. Yesterday he got stopped trying to solve the horoscope. Okay. It's a note from Papyrus. Human, please enjoy this spaghetti. Little do you know, the spaghetti is a trap. Designed to entice you. You'll be so busy eating it that you won't realize that you aren't progressing. Thoroughly japed again. Japed? I didn't know that was a word. Again by the great Papyrus. Yeah, <laughs> Papyrus. Knowing the mouse might one day... Knowing the mouse might one day find a way to heat up the spaghetti fills you with determination. Why is the mouse still on the screen? Speaking of mouses, it's noted spaghetti. Anyways, I gotta call this a session. <laughs>